Get this figure at the Chosen Prime, official sponsors of TFCon 2017. What's going on, King Ball Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Knight Deluxe Class Crosshairs. Now, this figure is very, very similar to his original release in the Age of Extinction line. The biggest difference being the coloring. He has black, silver, and green. The overall molding of the figure is pretty good. There are some definite differences between the two figures, but they have the exact same transformation. The overall look of the figure is kind of a hunchback Quasimodo type look to him, just due to the amount of kibble he has on his back. The figure's head sculpt is quite good and well detailed, and he even has individual irises molded into his head, which I do appreciate, though it does look a little weird under not great light. But if you've got bright light like I've got here on my video review set, then it works fine. Now, the paint differences between these two figures, or I should say between the AOE figure and this figure, is there's a lot less black on this guy. He has much less black in the arms and in the legs. Other differences between this figure and the Age of Extinction figure are the molding on the arms and the robot, or I should say the vehicle kibble. The vehicle kibble, specifically the front bumper and the front hood, fold up behind his back, and the side bits, which are for the sides of his trench coat, actually have hard plastic pieces that fold out as opposed to the soft plastic pieces. He also has different guns this time. The original figure had a long gun and then a dual gun, but this time he has twin submachine guns, which I appreciate and like, which I like much, much better than the other guns that the original Age of Extinction figure came with. They also peg into the insides of the coattails, though they do have a tendency to pop off very easily. Posability-wise, the figure is a little bit lacking. Head cannot look up or down. It barely moves side to side. Hinge in the shoulder, swivel above the elbow, 90-degree bend at the elbow, swivel at the fist, no torso articulation. Legs move forward that much, legs move out that much, over 90-degree bend at the knee, some minor foot articulation for the transformation. These pins in the feet are far too loose, and there's nothing locking the feet into position, so they do have a tendency to slide forward and back very easily. It is possible to get some decent poses with this guy, however, the posability is greatly limited, and he is very top-heavy due to all of the vehicle kibble on his back. The look of the figure isn't too bad, though, when you get him posed pretty well. You just have to be a little careful when posing him. And I forgot there is an extra swivel here on the elbow, or just after the elbow on the forearm, and that is part of the transformation. And speaking of the transformation, it is exactly the same as that original deluxe figure from Age of Extinction. To start off with, move the arms out to the side, fold up the plastic bits, Come to the back of the figure and fold out the hood and the front bumper. Down to the legs, fold in the heels and flip up the feet. Turn the bottom legs so that the bottom of the feet are pointed inside and can connect together with the wheels on the outside. Turn the figure around and drop the entire front of the vehicle mode onto the back of the legs and then snap the bumper into the bottom of what were the feet. Come to the sides and grab the bits that are the trench coat mode or part and then fold them in and snap them into where the headlights are. Come to the back of the vehicle mode where the head of the robot mode is and first fold the shoulder pads up, pull the wheels back into place, hinge the arms at the double hinged elbow like that so that they get into place. We could do that on both sides. And then the arms will slide up underneath the door for the vehicle mode and the shoulders will snap into place as well. And do that on both sides. It is a little bit tricky, but just a, some good old fashioned force will get everything into place as you get everything lined up correctly. Then finally, take the rear windscreen rear bumper and push that down and snap it into place. Lastly, for the vehicle mode, we are going to take the guns and at the very bottom of the magazines are these little pegs and they will peg into the inside of the forearms right where my thumb is. So we can, I'll do one and then that'll give you an idea of what it looks like. Now you can do it where it's pointing forward to the front of the vehicle mode or up towards the head. It doesn't matter. Either way you attach the guns, it is a little bit of a tight fit. The vehicle mode we end up with is really nice looking. I have to say this is a fantastic looking Corvette and it is much nicer than the vehicle mode that we had with the Age of Extinction Deluxe Class figure. And unlike the figure from many years ago, there's actually paint on both sides. That was a big gripe that I had about the original figure. It wasn't fully painted. 
I like this vehicle mode. It works really well. It's nice. It's solid. Yeah, it's got a robot on the bottom, but I don't care. It's a nice Corvette. I like it, and it works. Overall, this Crosshairs figure isn't too bad. Is it worth picking up? Yeah, I think it is, especially if you're a customizer. You can add some more paint to this guy to make him look even better. I actually like the green. I think the green works really well. The only real complaints I have about the figure are the very, very loose heels. And let's face it, that is a lot of vehicle kibble up there. I would love to if that could com collapse a bit more but I can kind of forgive it. The overall figure is pretty good, and and you know what? It's actually defied my expectations. I was expecting this figure to be complete garbage and just a complete redo of the original. Yes, it has the exact same transformation as the original, but it's different enough and improved enough that I can recommend it as opposed to that original figure. And it is worlds better than the deluxe class Bumblebee figure. So gang, I would pick this up if you can find it. Thanks for watching this video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.